Welcome to today's episode of Beta Bully. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the beta of Bullworth Academy and all the changes it's gone through. So let's get started with Bullworth Academy's third floor. Much like the beta boy storm, Bullworth Academy also had a floor that was removed entirely from the final game. However, unlike the beta boy storm, the third floor still exists even when you look at the exterior of Bullworth Academy. If you look, you can see three floors, but when you go inside, there's only two floors. Now this is really odd, I mean it can't be a design oversight. However, the third floor does exist, in the beta of course. You see, like the beta boys on second floor, Rockstar removed the entire floor, well, leaving stuff left over, like I said, with the exterior. In fact, if you look at Bournemouth Academy's exterior, all the sides have three floors, except, well, for the back window which you have to climb through in the diary, which, strangely, only has two floors. Now this can't be a design oversight. Anybody who's played Rockstar games knows that Rockstar tend to put a lot of time and effort into their maps and, you know, the environment. So why would they leave something like this, which is, well, incredibly noticeable? I'm going to assume it's due to time constraints, because much like the beta boys on second floor, there's still quite a few leftover files and screenshots showing off the third floor. Well, okay, there's only about two bits of information about the third floor, but still. First of all, we have a pre-release trailer which is called Bully Trailer 1. Now, in this trailer, there's a very short snippet of Jimmy Hopkins talking to Dr. Crabblesnitch, and it appears to be on the third floor because nowhere in the academy looks like this. It also shows that the setup was actually going to take place inside the school rather than outside of it. It could be that Jimmy was going to chase Davis all across the school before being brought to the auto shop. Anyway, back to Beta Wolf Academy. The second bit of information we have is this screenshot here. Now, at first, you might not notice it, but if you look at the top corner, you can see what looks like railings. Now, when you actually look in the final game, these railings do not exist. And no, that doesn't mean the third floor still exists, because if you use a no-clip mod to get up there, you'll see it's, well, non-existent. And if you disable no-clip here, Jimmy's just going to fall right through back onto the second floor. So we can also assume that these stairs here might have been a bit different. However, there's no screenshots or files or anything to back that up, so... Take what you can from that. Next up, we have the game files, which actually have a little bit of coding left over for the third floor. Go to config, go to dat, and then over area for box dot dat or exit locks. I believe it's, I believe it's exit locks. Now we're going to open this up with Notepad, and look what we have here: bathroom first floor, bathroom second floor bathroom third floor. Note how it says school hallways here. This doesn't mean that these files still exist because they're disabled. You see, at least for the renderware games I believe, if they have a hashtag at the beginning of their code then they'd be automatically disabled. So sadly, these have all been disabled. Now these stairs which you see here may not have existed at all in the beta, nor this floor here. Now I know it's something nobody would really care about, but going off David Byrne's beta model of Borf Academy, we can see that, well, it's a lot different. You know, we don't have the stairs. Well, we do have stairs, obviously, but, you know, not like the ones we have in the final game. I said we only stairs for separate entrances. The infirmary wasn't an infirmary. It'd be another entrance to the academy. And, well, see for yourself all the differences. Like, for example, take a look at the roof. It's a lot shorter than it is in the final game. Could it be that final showdown didn't originally take place on the roof? Next up, we're going to look at the back of the academy. Now here, this is quite interesting. Well, the back of the academy kind of looks like it does in the final game. I mean, we still have the separate stairways, we still have the balcony. But there's quite a lot of differences we can see here. Namely, these walkways. Now, if we zoom in, it looks like that these would be used by Jimmy to get from the second floor to the third floor quickly. Now these don't actually get used in Bully at all, obviously, because they were removed, but you can still see these walkways in Bullworth Town, however they're unusable, you know, no collision and all that. But honestly, this is actually quite interesting because it shows how some missions may not have even existed or may have been heavily changed in the beta. In fact, if you take a look at the mission The Diary for example, that has Jimmy climb up the balcony and break into the school through the back. However, here there doesn't seem to be a way for Jimmy to actually get up the balcony, as there's no vines or anything for him to climb up on. I know I mentioned it before, in fact a couple seconds ago, but it also shows that Final Showdown may not have even took place on the roof, it might have took place, I don't know. In fact, um, 
Just to cut away a little bit from the video, in the beta it was rumoured that Dr. Cramblesnitch was going to be the final boss of Bully. You know, the main antagonist, not Gary Smith. Which, if true, I don't know where I'm going with this, but you get the point. I mean, I can't really see any reason why Dr. Cramblesnitch would run away from Jimmy and hide up on the roof, but yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this, but hopefully you understand my point. Next up, we're going to play a small game of What's Wrong With This? Don't worry, there's not going to be a screamer or anything like that. Just see if you can spot anything wrong with this. Aside from the possessed punching bag, nobody seems to notice that attends Bullworth Academy. Since I can't read minds and I'm not speaking to you directly, I don't know what the hell you're thinking right now or I don't know if you notice what's wrong with it or not. But anyway, if we go inside the basement and look to our right, we have this massive shutter which is... Well, which just appears out of nowhere. Now I'm really confused as to why this is here. I mean, when you look on the exterior, there's only, you know, some stairs. But here there seems to be stairs and, like, a little garage, kind of. I mean, these shutters aren't even seen on the exterior, so... I don't know what to say about it, to be honest. Another strange thing the hole has is, well, this elevator. It's so out of place, like, you don't see any elevators in Bournemouth Academy. Nobody ever mentions it, it's just there. And in fact, you even have to go there if you want to get all 75 rubber bands. You see, in the beta, Jimmy would have actually used this elevator to gain access to the various school floors. You know, like, you could have went down to the hole, you could have went to the second floor and all that. And of course, the roof. Now, of course, in the final game, Jimmy can't access the roof, at least without mods. And even with mods, the roof is completely unloaded. Now, I'm probably going to talk a bit more about the roof than the hole now, but it's unknown why the roof was actually disabled in free mode. In fact, there's even an unused roof access room that Jimmy can only access with mods, and this is it. This room here would have been the room that Jimmy would have used to gain access to the roof, which is obvious by the roof access sign on it. But you see, in the final game, nobody ever uses it. On rare occasions, you might see NPCs who are chased by prefects run up there, but that's about it. In fact, in the beta, this room was going to be used in Final Showdown, or Complete Mayhem. You see, in Complete Mayhem, when Jimmy was going to confront Gary, rather than it just being a short cutscene and then, you know, they, they're on the roof, it would have been Jimmy chasing Gary around the school before Gary runs up these stairs and that's when Final Showdown would begin, basically. But of course it just goes entirely unused. And it still exists on the minimap and it's got perfect working collision and everything, just a few texture glitches, I don't know what these are supposed to be exactly, cobwebs or debris or what. Now opposite the roof access room is another unused room, and that room is actually the janitor's room. Now this room, unlike the roof access one, never gets used by anybody, you never see anybody run in here when being chased by prefects or anything. And Mr. Luntz doesn't use this room either. In fact, Mr. Luntz is never seen on the second floor. He's only seen in the shop and, well, in the beta, he's going to appear in the basement as well. Now, when you go in this room, it's very incomplete. The only thing you hear is a long and annoying buzzing sound, and the walls have absolutely no collision at all. In fact, if you get a full red triple meter in here, nobody will run in and bust you, meaning you're free to basically snipe people through the walls as much as you like. And yes, if you fall through the wall, you will get knocked out. Other than that, there's nothing to really talk about in this room, because it's boring, basically. Dr. Crabblesnitch's office went through a very minor change. You see this door here? Well, it was going to be open. I don't know if it was going to be open at all times during the game, or during specific missions, or something like that. I know the paddle would have used Dr. Crabblesnitch's office. The only bit of evidence we actually have to back this up is a pre-release screenshot of Miss Danvers. Which, if we look to the side, we can sort of see the office door being open. Other than that, there's nothing to really talk about. There is one thing to talk about, and that's the positioning of the Academy. If we take a look at the Academy's positioning, we can see that this is the front, and this is the back. But when we enter through the back window, we somehow end up on the west side of the school, which makes absolutely no sense. Technically, we should be spawning in Dr. Crabblesnitch's office, or something like that. I don't know, really, like, it's a bit weird to think about how Rockstar managed to screw something that simple up. So that's really it for this video. I know somebody's going to say what about Beta Borf Academy's cafeteria, but I have a feeling there's a bit more information about the cafeteria that hasn't been found yet. I've just got that feeling about it if you know what I mean. So anyway that's it for this video and thank you for watching.